Yeah. Would you be innocent or guilty? Right. I'd be guilty. Like the rest of us. Yeah. And the proof that we're all guilty is we're going to die one day. The Bible will say the wages of our sin is death. Think of it this way. We've sinned against God. He's given us capital punishment. That makes sense to you. So if God was a good judge, and you and I would be a lawbreaker, wouldn't him putting us in hell be the right thing to do? To uphold justice? I can't, I can't, now, I, I ain't gonna compare or say and do it if the shoe was on the other foot, like, but I figure it depends on, you know, if that person trying to change or whatever. If they right. trying their best to change, well, then, the, well, then for yeah. It. I'm going to use you an example okay, yeah. to show you why that's a good answer, but it don't hold water. Yeah, yeah, I know. Chris says, hey, Judge, you've got me, right? I robbed a bank and shot the guard. Oh, no, I see. Yeah, that's the wrong example, because okay. I ain't going to never do okay, that. Okay, hey, Judge, you got my jaywalk, get the car, right? Okay. okay. All right, well, listen. After I jaywalked up the car, I helped 10 little ladies cross the street and buy Girl Scout cookies. The judge would say, so what? You still broke the law. So even if you tried to change your ways and do right, you still did it. So that it don't work? All right. So what satisfies justice? Time or payment? Now, if somebody was to pay your fine for you in God's court, why couldn't he let you go? Justice having been satisfied. Okay. So God, who is a spirit, came down into his creation as a man, Jesus, God in the flesh. And he wrote a check for you in his blood. When he died on the cross, what do you think he was doing? Paying your penalty. You broke the law, right? He paid your fine. You know what he said right before he died? It's finished. It's paid in full. Now, if he paid your fine for you, what business do you have going to hell and paying for yourself? He died of it. He was buried. And he rose again from the dead according to the scriptures. So if he's risen from the dead, he's alive now, right? Do you know all he asked you to do? Repent of trust. That means change your mind. Repent of trusting in your goodness. Admit to him... I'm not good, I've sinned. And trust alone in what he did for you because you've sinned. And that is he died for you, was buried, and he rose again. And his blood is a finished payment for you. And God will save you from hell freely as a free gift by his grace to you because he loves you. And his grace is when he gives you something that you didn't earn. So if you're trusting in your good works to get to heaven, guess what? You're trying to earn it. And God says no deal. I'll only save you by my grace. So don't work for it. Just rest in what I did. Now, last thing. If he rose from the dead, he's alive now, right? He says, all who call upon his name shall be saved. Well, why would you call upon him as a sinner made of a savior if you didn't believe him? That's where the rubber meets the road. But if you did believe him in your heart, wouldn't you naturally call on him and say, I'm, I'm, I've sinned, I'm a savior. And I'm trusting in your blood to get me in. Do you think he'd honor that? Nope. I mean, do you that, think... Hold on, hold on. You lost me with that verbal Do you answer. think that he would uh, save you based on those terms if you came to him and took his son as your savior? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what he says. Now do you understand the gospel? Yes. When do you think in your lifetime, hopefully today, that you'll repent toward God and trust his son as your savior instead of trusting in you? When are you going to take Christ as your Savior? Uh, has He spoke to your heart about your salvation, about your soul? What's that like? Good. Well, he rings your door there? Uh, I mean, it's a big one, good. Just keep being tested here. Now I'm trying to get away from here. This conversation. Oh, with this conversation? Not, oh, not everything oh, going on your life. Oh, now. Your soul. Now. Right now. Heaven, hell. That yeah, now. Has he spoke to your heart about where you stand with him? Yes. What is that like? Now let me give you the scriptures on it. So you'll know that I'm being legit and that I'm not some religious cultist that just tells you something below. Because we believe the King James Version is God's words. Yeah, that's the That's the authority. That's the only thing I like. There you go. So if the Bible is wrong, I mean, if the Bible says it and we're wrong, we're wrong. Yes. So check it with the book. 
Oscar, are you good enough to go to heaven? And that was a trick question. Yeah, that's right. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Man, your ship just got sunk. He says, no, there is none that are good. And as a result, the wages of our sin is death. If we were good enough to go, why are we going to die? Make sense? Yes. Okay. Now, if you died with your account with God left unsaid, if somebody has to pay for those sins, guess who it would be? You. Here's what that looks like. It's a court date. Up, up there. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the heaven and earth fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and the books were open. You're going to see this again. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged on those things which were written in the books according to their works. So remember I asked you, are you good? He said, yeah. He said, okay, let's put it to the test. So you don't want to be judged by your works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. Death and hell delivered up the dead which were in And they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now we believe that place exists. Sure as you and I are sent here. That's why we come out and tell people that are well near, don't go there. So here's how you get out of it. Check it. I'm not left you out in the field some ways? No. Okay. But please don't try to answer the new questions of that because of my memory. Oh. I ain't gonna remember. But you can hear me. You know? Yeah, I hear you. You're just not good at these yeah. questions. Yeah. Okay. I get this. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Now, gospel means good news. For I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to all who believe. Is it saying here? No, you don't have to answer this. It didn't say in here to everybody who was good. It says when you believe the good news. Right? So we're going to go find out what God wants you to believe. I got a cold. Do you, um, do you like flaming hot? Yes. Good, nobody You're the else. only person I've You're the only one. Did you ever say, oh, no, I can't eat that? I'm a hot person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real hot person. <laughs> now get this. Chris, right? Chris is justified freely by God's grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So because a payment was made on your behalf, you can go free. And God still did what is right. When God had sent forth to be a payment through faith in His blood. Did you catch that? See, it's not through our good deeds. It's through we're bad. Therefore, it's by putting our faith in His blood because we're bad. To declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time, His righteousness, that He might be just, all sins have to be paid for, and the justifier, He paid them, of Him which believe in Jesus. Any of us? So where is most of them? It is excluded. By what law it works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Get this. Go ahead. Yeah, these peanut butter don't know. So you know yeah, 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 I'm not allergic to those. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, you gotta go for a couple more. Yes. I don't want to bury Now, the hand that worked is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. See, if you're trying to work away to heaven, you're in debt because you have to make a hundred. But to him that worketh not, but believe on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Did you catch that? You got it on your tongue. Alright, look at this. The way Jesus is dead, right? But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He says eternal life is a gift. You can't earn a gift. You take a gift. And then we got these little Thank you. And we got. Remember you said I'll send you the good news? Here's the good news. And that's it. That's it. You know, I gave all those chips away. Which I preached to you, which I'll show you how to receive. And where you stand. 
by which also you are saved. If you keep in memory, I preach unto you unless you believe in vain. For I deliver unto you first by the child from the sea, and that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture, was buried, and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scripture. That's the good news. This is all we have to He says, when you believe that, what, is he, what will he do? Yeah. And here's your last one. Yes, right? The one says, the word is near you, even in your heart and in your mouth. That's the word of faith that we preach. Should have thought you confess with that mouth. Okay, water left. Got one bottle left. Now you got it explained, and you got it from the scripture. Hello. Now my prayer don't save you. Your prayer don't save you if you don't believe in your heart. But if you believe it, I can pray out loud for you. Why don't you come to the Messiah of your heart? And you may say, uh, the best way We don't have any more water. You may say, I don't know I'm a sinner, and I don't know what I'm But I'm trusting in what you do for me. You can get this drink, huh? Well, I can't call it a but that's fine. You think he'd do that? I just want to be fair. Do y'all want some practice? The fact that you think that he'll do that, that's my faith. Now, are you willing to call him to be saved? Let me pray out loud for you, but this is between you and the Lord in your heart. You have to ask him. Is it? Father, we don't ask before you have been for the opportunity to be a servant to your life. Oh, no. I say to God, I'm going to be a servant to your life. So I can get access to the good thing. Is that in that condition? Yeah, that's right. I thought it would be a good thing. But you're willing to forgive us freely. I'm sitting asleep. Because I think you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross. And no place is a substitute. Take it on the he was buried, he rose again from the dead, and is alive now in heaven. And by faith, all who would call on his name shall be saved as a love gift from you to us, not anything we can do to earn. It's in Jesus' name we look at his blood. You didn't know you were going to church today, did you? No, sir. Where are you going to go when you die? And how do you figure that? Uh, we uh, believe in having faith in God.